much. Thank you so much. Psalms 118. I appreciate every one of you. God bless you. You're blessed to be being here this evening and congregational singing, special singing, and just being a part of this service. And I want to be a blessing uh, to you. Thank you so much. And, uh, uh, Psalms 118 in your Bible here. Would you turn to it here? In verse 26, blessed, blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord. In verse 26, we have what? We have what? We have blessed you. This is the phrase. Psalms 118, we're taking each verse, verse by verse, and so many different verses here, building sermons upon these verses. When, when you read your Bible, and you're studying the Bible, and you study the Word of God, what you're going to find, the Holy Spirit will use a verse, he'll use a thought, and um, God will grab your heart, grab your mind. And uh, that's why it's good sometimes to jot some things down when you're reading your Bible and, and go ahead and jot it down. You're not going to write it down. And write it down on your phone. Write it down on your computer. Uh, write it down in your notebook. But but get it, write a thought there. The Holy Spirit, uh, it, it, it'll jump out at you. Amen. Certain verses. Amen. Isn't that right? And, and tonight, no doubt, no doubt about it, we have blessed you. We have blessed you. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. Amen. I thank God for the house of the Lord. I, love, I, I was glad when they said, let us go up into the house of the Lord. Not sad, not mad, but I was glad. I'm talking about the house of God. There's not a nightclub that can touch this place. There's not a football game that can touch this place. There's not a basketball game that can touch. There's nothing that will do more for you than the house of God. Somebody say that. This is the house of God. This is the place where we meet God. Where two or three are gathered together. Jesus said, I will be there in the midst with you. I will. Hey, the greatest thing about the house of God, Jesus shows up. The Holy Spirit shows up. Somebody say that. Oh, I love the house of God. I, I, look, look, let me say this, uh, boys and girls, look, look up here. Look up here. You ought to look at the ones that have been blessed out of the house of God. Well, I, I think about our church, and I give God the praise. And house, there's house, they got the church all over the country. They have houses, the houses, they have houses of God all over this country. They have churches all over this country. Somebody help me. The people, because you are the church. But thank, thank God for a meeting place. Thank God we don't have to, if we have to meet under the tree, we'll meet under the tree. It's wonderful to meet, to meet, to meet with Jesus under the tree. If we have to, if persecution comes, if something happens, there, there are countries where they gather under the tree. Thank God for the tree. But I'll tell you what, I thank God for his house. I thank God. There's, there's certain times, sometimes you'll open up. They open up a church, a group of people, and they go, go, go into a little, a little house. Apartment, apartment, a house, or whatever. Well, listen, when two or three gather together, Jesus said, I'm right there in the midst. Yes, He's right there. Yes. Sometimes it's a storefront. Sometimes uh, they get in the storefront. They go right there in the storefront there and got, got, got a handful of people. And it's God's church. God meets there. And I, I, I'm telling you, uh, God shows up. And, and thank God for, for, for that place. Yes. I, I'm talking about thank God and praise God. Yes. But I'll tell you, listen, thank God when you're able to build the house of God and, and you build a place and you call it in the, in the church. Church people show up and God shows up. There's nothing more beautiful, nothing more beautiful than the house of God. You see what I'm saying? Oh, the church that was in that, that in your house. You read that in the scriptures uh, from time to time. The church that was in the house. And sometimes at the house, uh, they got somebody opens their home and say, thank God, the, and they convert it into a church. By the way, Faith Baptist Church, uh, Wolcott, Connecticut, where I got saved back way back in the, uh, 97, 980. Right back there, Wilcock, Connecticut. Yes. My wife would tell you, uh, it, was a, it was a house. They, 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 they made it into a church, a building, a building there, and then it became the house of God. I, I think about that. I think about that that house, and they converted it into 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 a, a church building. And I'll never forget it. I'll never forget that when I went there the first time. I, I'll never forget it. My wife invited me. I talked about in high school. Happy day, happy day that Jesus took my sin away. I got saved from hell. Heaven's my home. A, a, a project boy. To the pulpit, I said, I think I've been blessed. They blessed me out of the house of God. My pastor blessed me out of the house of God. My pastor blessed me. Look up here, kids. Look up here. I tell you, it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful place. I can imagine. I can see it. In my, I can see it now. Oh, I tell you what. Uh, 
uh, the Lord blessed me. Oh, the, from the projects, from poverty. They said there was no hope but in dope and the Pope. Ain't no hope in dope where the Pope is the only hope in Jesus Christ. Somebody say that. And they said you end up and you're going to wreck your life. You're in the ghetto. And there's no way. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way that you're going to be, become anything. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you, I was blessed out of that house of God. Oh, God changed me. God helped me. I'll tell you, you know, I got saved. I got saved in the house of God. No, don't get me wrong. We knock on doors. We go out and we do. We stop people on the street. We, we do get them saved. We get, we get saved in jail. People get saved in the hospital. Get, people get saved in the cars. People get saved. We, 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 we're soul winners. We, we're we're, con we, 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 we're con we confront people. We're confrontational. We, we are zealous. We, 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 we obey the commission. And everywhere they went in the Bible. But I tell you what, I thank God for the house of God. I was blessed out of the house of God. I got saved in the house of God. From the Kingdom Hall, Jehovah Witness background. Listen to me, Kingdom Hall, Jehovah Witness background. Jehovah Witness background. My, my brother Ben, he knows what we've been through. He knows the miracle. You know how I've been blessed. Out of my wife, to God be the praise, because the house of God that was running a bus, to God be the praise, she got saved through the bus ministry. And thank God I met her. And thank God I got saved. But we were blessed in the house of God. Thank God she got saved from the house of, in the house of God. Yeah. And then I got saved in the house of God. Yeah. And I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. The Lord transformed me. He, he changed me. Got me out of the kingdom hall. He got me out of the nightclubs. I'll tell you. Turned on a scholarship in Berkeley Music College. Went to went, 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 uh, um, um, Bible College. Gave my life to God. Changed my talk. Changed my walk. And I'm telling you. God did it. God did it. He blessed me. Yeah. You know, one of my greatest fears was, to be honest with you, I couldn't get saved because I had to cuss and swear and like a worse than a sailor. Couldn't talk. Oh, I'd have to get mad when I think about it. But, but I didn't think I could ever talk without cussing. I didn't think I could ever talk without cussing. But I'll tell you what, Jesus can take, Jesus can save you. I don't care what sin it may be. It may not be cussing, but Jesus will bless you out of the house of God. I'd come to church and the preacher, the sermons, I was blessed out of the house of God. The congregation singing, I was blessed out of the house of God. But I'll tell you what, in the youth director, youth, young people, and the God's people, hey, I said God's people are the best. God's people are the best. Don't they say oh, a bunch of church people? Don't they say a bunch of church people? I hate. They say I hate. They say I hate church. They say some of them. They say I don't want to do nothing to do church. They say a bunch of hypocrites in church. I, no, 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 no. God's people are the best. You are the best. Yeah, I tell you. You look up here. Look up here. You're the best. I love the yes sirs. I love the yes bands. I love the amens. Put your phones down. Put your stinking phones down. Don't let the phone ruin you. I love preaching like that. I love, I love preaching that in the house of God. Be blessed out of the house of God. And, and, and through the house of God, we're blessed to overcome the, the, the smoke and cigarettes. We're blessed to overcome the Budweiser beer. We're blessed to come out of stinking wine. We're blessed to overcome the uh, fornication and the adultery. We're blessed in how to uh, 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 dress right, talk right, act right, live right. Somebody help me. We're blessed out of the house of God. Oh, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, oh, friends. Oh, I, I, I was taught tithing in the house of God, giving in the house of God. God uh, promised to open the windows of heaven, and the windows of heaven opened up. God has been, I look at this crowd tonight. I look at you precious people tonight. We blessed you. We blessed you. Oh, some of you are good night in that religion on your way to hell, working your way to good night. You're, you're all messed up. And you're, 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 we love you. We thank God. You said you're in bad shape. You're in bad shape, friend. Amen. Part of Seventh Day Adventist, thinking oh, Baptist, and uh, liberal Baptist. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, brother. I'm telling you something, sister. I'm telling you something. Look, look up here. Look up here. You look, I look at the crowds of our church. And look tonight. Tonight, we. I, I'll put some of our young people next to any young people on the face of earth. And they're out serving God tonight. Look up here. They're not a bunch of fornicators. Some of you are a bunch of adulterers. 
Some of them, some don't know they're not either. Look up here. Some, some of them not. Some of them thank God we're raising them up. Be faithful husbands. we faithful wives. Learning, learning about family and raising kids. Listen, sometimes we dwell on the negative. We've never done And listen, we love them. We're going to pray for them. But why don't we thank God, the ones we bless out of the house of God, the father of a godly wife, father of a godly husband, want to build a good Christian. I wish someone, I hope to God you learn to say amen. Hey, hey, you're excited about your game. You're excited about your game you play. You're excited about your football. Excited about your basketball. Excited about your sports. Why don't you get excited in the house of God and realize, God's blessed you out of the house of God. Thank God you're not an orphan tonight. Thank God you're not homeless tonight. Somebody help me out. Look up at me, kids. Look up at me. Look up at me. Look up at me. And you, 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 me. We, we bless you out of the house of God. We say, look up here. Look up here. Look up here. Amen. But I'll tell you what. They've been blessed. Look, they learn. But to God be the praise, we give God the praise. Amen. And, 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 and listen, we, 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 dwell, we dwell on the natives. We're going to try to help people. We're, we're not here to kick anybody down. Right. We're not here to kick some girl down because she messed up and had a child out of wedlock. We're not going to kick her down. We're going to try to help her. Amen. But get off my back, Jack. If you think I'm not going to preach and tell these girls to stay virgin and to stay clean and don't whore around and get rid of your stinking wicked music, get rid of your stinking ungodly music. By the way, we need some preachers that start preaching like this uh, on, on online and live stream and quit trying to politic and tell the truth like people need to hear it in a, in a, in a, in a blessed this nation. More than anything else, there was a time in our country that we've been blessed in this country, not because of the Muslims, not because of the uh, 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 of, of, the, of, of the Buddhists, uh, not because of uh, this is a Christian country. Uh, the, uh, this is a, uh, well, Christian. This is a Christian. Uh, Christ, uh, <laughs> but I'm trying to say, this country is founded on Christianity. This country is founded on Christian. It's the house of God. It's the house of God. We're Jesus the head of the house of God. We're Jesus the head of the church. This would made America great. There's a time preachers to get up in the house of God and bless the people and not be an ear tickler, not be a back scratcher, not play around. There was a time the man of God would, would get up and actually preach. And it's now, now, now seems like I'm in a, a back, a back, a, a back of a, a, a island somewhere to some people. But there was a preacher that had preached the truth. He loved the young people. And they love fiery preaching. Yeah. And this country is built. In World War One. We, we, God bless us out of the house of God. World War Two. God bless us out of the house of God. We won. We won. We won these wars because of praying mamas and praying dads and preachers. Amen. The congressmen, the senators, they learned to go to the house of God. They learned to pray in the house of God. I'll tell you, we need to read uh, uh, Second Chronicles. We need to read. Uh, we need to read uh, Second Chronicles seven fourteen. It's still there. Yes. And my people, which are called by my name, shall pray. You, you would need to read your Bible and find out. That's when Solomon. He, let me tell you something. When he built that great house, and he said, "When we sin, when we done wrong, when the plagues come and the disease come, and other countries come to take over, we'll pray, and you will turn to you." And, and God said, if "My people, my people." And Solomon said, "Okay, if, if we if we pray to you, if we could seek your face." And Solomon said, "Please help us to overcome the enemies. Please heal us of our diseases. Please, my God." Somebody help me. Yeah. Somebody yeah. help me. Yeah. You learn. Yeah. And Solomon said, bless your people in this house. In this house. And I'm telling you, America, this country has been so blessed more than any country on the face of this earth. Because we've been blessed out of the house of God. Amen. And I think about the young people that have gone to Bible college. I think about the young people that, that, that just God has blessed us with. We still got to concentrate on those that do wrong. Why don't we concentrate on the ones that are doing right? Why don't we not let the devil uh, uh, have advantage of us? 
And think about you blessed them. Some bus workers, look up here. Amen. Look at these precious kids here tonight. Look at the ones that come in the bus, in the vans, and the buses, the vans. And why don't we praise God? And think about, look and look at that. How many have been blessed, these kids? How many of these kids have been blessed? Listen, listen, I've been pastor here three over three decades. There's not a week that goes by that says, you're, I've been blessed through your bus misery. I've been blessed. I've been saved in your work. I've been blessed. I was baptized and you baptized. I've been blessed. Oh, listen, all over this city, there's not a week that goes by. I don't, listen, I can, so many of them, Pastor Barrett. Oh, Pastor Barrett, when I was young, I've been blessed. I've been blessed. I've been blessed. Bless you out of the house of God. I am. Um, I've, I've experienced some heartaches. My, my brother's here tonight. He knows I love my mom and dad. And all I miss and how he misses. Yes, there was a time they drank. There was a time they were alcoholics. But in their last days, they couldn't drink. It got a hold of their health. It got a hold, it just got a hold of them so bad. And I, and I thank God, they, they had to stop. They had to stop. And, and I love them, and I miss them, and Brother Ben knows them, I honor them, I honor them, I honor them. He knows it. And he loved my mom and dad. Still does. Still does. And so much turmoil, fighting and fussing, and poverty and ghetto. Brother Ben, they wouldn't even, they can't even imagine the extreme measures of the darkness the miracle of us being in the house of God tonight. They have no idea of the pain, the tears, the things that we see, the hurt, the chaos. Look up here. Six boys and two girls. I ain't got time to tell you the nightmares. I don't have to tell you the nightmares. I ain't got time. But tonight, my dream has, has, has fulfilled most of it. 58 years old. And I said, I'm not going to bring my family through the hurt and the pain. I will not do it. Me and my wife, we've been married over these three decades. And I'm telling you what, me and my wife, I'll tell you what, listen, I thank God for my wife. I thank God. Listen, I made up my mind. I said, we're not going to have this type of, uh, of nightmare. I'm not, I want to give my kids something. I, listen, we, we have, it's because the, how, I have a wife. I, I have, I'm pastoring this church. I, I'm no better than my parents. It's because of the house of God. Amen. Independent, fundamental, Baptist, soul, and standard church. I'm not talking about some wishy-washy outfit. I was blessed out of the house of God. It was an independent, fundamental, Baptist, soul, and a, hey, thank God for a preacher. Thank God for a pastor I had that would weep over me, that would cry. I was blessed out of the house of God, and I pastored this church, and now you've been blessed. Amen. You've been blessed. Amen. We bless your house of the Lord. And the choir gets up and sing. We bless your house of the Lord as the uh, special music gets up and sing. We bless your house of the Lord as the piano playing and the singing. We bless your house of the Lord when you get a chance to give in the offering plate. Give it shall be given unto you. Amen. Press down, shake it together. God said, we, you've been blessed when you tithe and uh, God's opened you the windows of heaven. We bless you. You have your wife that you have. We bless you. You have your husband that you have. We bless you. You love your children like you do. We bless somebody help me. We bless you. Your husband learn to love your wife. We bless you. Wife learn to submit to her husband. We bless you. Children learn to 
obey their parents. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. Amen. Amen. You're more blessed in the house of the Lord than the White House of the United States of America. Amen. You're blessed in the house of the Lord better than any college that you attend. You blessed the, uh, out of the house of the Lord better than your job you have. You wouldn't have the job you have if it wasn't for the Lord. You wouldn't have the money. You, somebody help me out tonight. You look up here. You look up here. We bless you out of the house of the Lord. That's what the psalmist is talking about. The trials. And through troubles and through, and through heartache and distress, being in verse 5, distress, the people problems, people want to hurt them, verse 6. God is the help. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> That's the way some of you feel. They can pass me about bees, they can pass me about like bees. <laughs> They, they want to hurt me. And they, 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 they try to, they're, trying, they're trying to hurt me. And, 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 and through pain and through trouble and through, and through heartache. But we have been blessed. We have been blessed. We blessed you. Uh, with, with, yes, we've been through heartache. God's come through for us. When the problems come like bees and the people try to hurt us and, uh, and trouble on every side. And, and, and yes, but we have been blessed. The cabinets may be empty, but God has knows how to feel it. We learn that God fills the cabinets. The refrigerator has been empty, but we learn God fills the refrigerator. We didn't have no wheels, but we see that God bless us with some wonderful wheels. We didn't have no vans and buses, but God learned that we learned that God blesses us. We didn't have no pan and pews, but we learned that God blesses us. We know we needed a roof. We see that God blessed us. We see we needed a furnace, and God blessed us. And I'm telling you what, there's a God that has taken care of us all these years, and God ain't going to leave us here hanging. We've been blessed. We blessed you out of the house of the Lord. We've been blessed in the house of the Lord. I love the house of the Lord. I got saved in the house of the Lord. I got saved. I got baptized in God's house of the Lord. I was called to preach during a sermon in the house of the Lord. I said I got I got ordained and sent out of the house of the Lord when I came down to Knoxville, Tennessee. I've been blessed. I got everything that I have out of the house of the Lord. I got peace in the house of the Lord. I got comfort in the house. And I pass it on to you. I pass it on to you. Listen to me, kids. You have, listen, listen. That's why you ought to be excited about preaching. Now look at me, kids. Look at me. You ought to be excited about preaching. Be excited. The adults too. We got married, me and my wife, in the house of the Lord. In the house of the Lord, God spoke to me in the Bible like he spoke in no other place. And by the way, you get some things in the house of the Lord here that you would not get anywhere else. You say, how do you know that? Because Jesus said, when two or three are gathered together, I'm right there in the midst. Amen. Storms come. Storms come. And, and because of storms, because of the safety of God's people. Not because we want to. And it breaks a heart. It breaks a heart. Today, there's been storms. Here and around our country, bigger storms. We had some, we have some bad weather that makes it dangerous sometimes. And God bless you, precious people. God bless you, precious people. And your prayers like mine. God, not on your day. God, don't let anything hinder us from coming up in the house of the Lord. Amen. God, would you make it make it Monday? Amen. Make it make it Monday. 
my Sunday, Lord. Amen. Monday's not the Lord's day. Right. You didn't raise up on Monday. Not on Saturday, like the seventh day of Venice. What a hold to? But the first day, yeah. with the collection <laughs> that is much needed Amen. for your house, Amen. for your for your ministry. Yes. Not the day where God's people get together, sing congregational hymns, and worship God and praise God, play the piano and sing, choir sing. Not the day we come to encourage each other. The Hebrews ten twenty five: Forsake not the assembly of yourself. Forsake not the assembly of yourself, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another as you see the day approaching, as you see the Christ coming, as you see the end of the world coming. We know it's getting close. We need the encouragement. God bless you, precious people. I say, Lord, Lord, let, let the storm come. They want to miss school, that's their business. If they want to miss college, that's their business. God, if some people got to miss some money, you're able to make that up if they come to the house of God and time and give. God, you can make up all the money they lose. But God, please, don't let. And God, we know it's not Mother Nature. God, we know it's not Mother Nature. We know it's Jesus Christ that created the world. It's you. You're the Lord. You are the, 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 the fires that we have, the, the, the volcanoes that we have, the earthquakes that we have, the rain that we have, the snow that we have. God is not the meteorologist. It's not science. It's, it's you. It's you, Jesus. Amen. So would you please let it not snow. Look up here. Put your pens down. Put your paper down. Put your fiddle faddling down. Look at me and say amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And I know some of you ain't that spiritual. I've been listening to you talk. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, I've been listening to some of your conversations. Right. I listen to some of you getting chewed out. Some of you in trouble right now. You're in deep hot water right now. Some of you probably pray to even come so Jesus come. <laughs> Tonight. Amen. <laughs> so you're not all that spiritual. So look up here. Amen. There's a time to do that. But now is not the time. Why? Why did I do this? Because you've been blessed at house of the Lord. And we want to bless you at house of the Lord. Now, where was I at before I got distracted? <laughs> Some of you. <laughs> were, by, by the, now, you see, you've been paying attention. You, you zoom it all the way over, over here. <laughs> said, Pastor, you done covered so much. Where do we backtrack on? The snow. The snow. God bless you. You're, you're listening. Thank you. Thank you so much, son of law. Son of law. We bless you, out house of the Lord. You got my daughter. We've sure blessed you. You got the queen. We've sure blessed you. Yes. Yes. But guess what? Joy's also been blessed. Because he's been blessed to his house of God. You've been blessed by that house of God. Because you got a husband, a king that loves the Lord Jesus. That serves the Lord. But back, but back, but back to the snow. God bless you. God bless you, precious ones. Amen. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What about the other side? This is hurting. This is hurting. This is sad. I hate to even chuckle. I got a really good comment down this way. Since we should get comment down. These kids, oh, I wish it was snow so I could play on Sunday. Some of them. I hope that's not the case. I hope not the case. God pity you. God pity you. God pity you sticking out. Oh, did I make it a break? Oh, did I make it a break for the bus route? 
Oh, then I might get a, oh, it's a blessing to work on that bus route. I know it's cold. I know it's cold. I know it gets hot. But let me tell you something, young boys. When you watch God bless you with a wonderful marriage, when you watch God bless you with a wonderful home, when you watch God bless you, hey, you only have a nice job, but you have peace. Not only a nice job, but peace. Not only a nice house, but peace. Not only somebody help me out, buddy. I'm talking about not only making good money, but you can enjoy your wife. Joy, your home, joy, somebody help me. And you won't got to come home from work and say, when am I going to get out of this type of hell? You're going to say, thank God for the honeymoon. Thank God for the heaven. Thank God for my wife. You ain't got to say, well, what did I do? Married the devil. I married the devil. I married the devil. You don't have to, you don't have to, you don't have to go through that. Oh, I married the devil. I married the devil. Like the preacher just said, he married the devil and he's locked in. <laughs> and I think she used to drag him by the hair. I said, the house. <laughs> but he, he believed literally to death to his part. <laughs> and that's the way he's supposed to be. I hate the chuckle, but it's sad, brother. It's sad, sister. Let me tell you something. You better thank God. You got, the Bible says, I'll tell you, it, it, it's God's blessings. You got a godly wife. Amen. You got a godly husband. Amen. You got a man that don't beat on you. Amen. You got a man that loves God. A man that will, will read the Bible and pray and walk with God. A woman that will pray and walk with God. A mama, a mama, a mama that will come to the house of God. I'll talk about a dad that will come to the house of God. You know, thank God they ain't beating on each other. You ain't got to go through that mess. If you got to taste sight, you've been blessed here. Your mama's here. Your daddy's here. You, you, you better thank God, dear lady. You better thank God you got a preacher trying to preach at you, preach to you, trying to do something to shake you. I don't want no guy to break your heart. I don't want no man to break your heart. Y'all, you know, you've been blessed on the house of God. I don't want you to have what your daddy got. I want you to have what your mom got. I want you to have somebody that serves God, loves God. Don't get mad at the preacher. Thank God he preaches at you and to you and for you and loves you. Don't leave here having baked ham, baked turkey, uh, baked preacher. You don't do that. You don't do that. You go home and say, I've been blessed. Right. Man of God loves me enough just about call my name. Yeah. You don't pack your bags and run to some stinking liberal outfit. Come on, some liberal outfit. Yeah. Ain't got no standards. Come on, Come on somebody say amen. amen. Talk about God moving you on. You're moving yourself on. Come on, man. Amen. We blessed you out of the house of God. Look at me, kids. Amen. You boys, your minds stick and wonder. Signals at each other. Comments and uh, uh, little sayings and spacing out. We got something that not paying child support. Did you know that? Right. Did you know that? We got something that not paying alimony. Did you know that? God bless these kids. They said, well, what, what the hell am I? What, what all that? What all, what all that? What all that? Well, I'll tell you what. When you get married one day, you look half of your checks gone. <laughs> Garnished. <laughs> Made about 200 bring it home $20. <laughs> Government snatches it. <laughs> Hello. You know what alimony is, isn't that right? Right? You know, you know, I'm not kicking anybody down. I'm just trying to say we have some that have not divorced. We are not kicking divorcees down. This is a hospital. Helping the fornicators. Helping the adulterers. Helping those that spent through the divorce. Caring for them. Loving them. Want to make them soul winners. Want to, want to help them be Sunday school teachers. And teach people how, how not to, don't, don't mess up. I'm, I'm talking about after they get right. After they, I'm not talking about just putting all fornicators and adulterers and a bunch of stinking wicked people uh, in Sunday school classes. Now, we, we ain't having that garbage. Uh, we got to have some standards. Now, there, there, there used to be, like Paul said, you used to be this way. You used to be this way. Amen? Not, 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 not drinking stinking liquor on Saturday, teaching on Sunday. Come on, not smoking dope on Saturday, teaching on Sunday. Not whoring around, shacking up, shackers up. Just rise out of bed. 
Rise out of bed with a man, not not married to him. Rise, rise out of, right, not married with some woman. Coming and launching the choir, <laughs> launching the pulpit. We <laughs> sodomites. We having that stuff. Sodomites leading the choir. I know what's going on. I know. I know what's going on. But we have some. Isn't that wonderful? We have some that are what they are because of the house of the Lord. We bless you. Mr. President, you've been blessed. Mr. Congressman, you've been blessed. Our country, our people, our nation has been blessed out of the house. I got a question for you. They're shooting and killing the kids in the school, gunning them down. Brothers and sisters, neighbors, crying, weeping. Beautiful young people. High schoolers. Happen so much. I hope it don't happen this week. And look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look up here. Look up here. Look up here. I hope it doesn't happen this week. There's been cases when right here shot the principal down. Dead. Gone. Gone down. Question. Question. Where did the people gather? Where did where they, where they gather? Where did they go? Where did they go? Where did, where did they go in their faces? Where did the people gather? You got it. The house of God. Oh, they'll, they'll get on their knees now. They'll get on their knees now, my brother. Twin towers coming tumbling down. Plane going right through it. People jumping off the buildings. Bodies hitting the ground. Bodies hitting the ground. Plane comes right down to the Pentagon and then fire and relatives and dead in a moment, a moment, in a moment, in a moment at work, just like you go to work this week, in a moment. Lives taken away. People on the plane. And they're headed towards the White House, headed, headed towards the state capitol. Thank, thank God they never, met, they never made it to the state capitol. Thank God for the heroes that brought that plane down. Question, question. Some of you kids, you weren't even born. You were not even born. Some of you, you, you look at teenagers, you weren't even born. We remember. Where they, where they go? Where they go around the country? House of God. House of God. Because they know it's the house. Not a Buddha. Not of Allah. The Lord. Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. The King of Kings, the Lord of Glory. Amen. The prophet, the priest, the king, the God. The, the Almighty. Yes. The Alpha, the Omega. Amen. Amen. There was some like your pastor this morning. There was some like your pastor this morning. There was some like your pastor this morning that was praying, Lord, let it not snow on Sunday morning, especially in Knoxville, Tennessee. It's not like Connecticut where I'm from, Lord. Brother Ben, I tell you. Knoxville's not like New Britain, Connecticut. Brother Ben, we'd have plows. They'd be plowing up the streets. They'd be plowing these streets as the snow comes down. This is Knoxville. I mean, it's white on white. Sliding. I've had my, I've had my times sliding in a ditch. I had my times sliding, scraping up my car. Sliding into a water fountain, the, the, the what do you call the thing? The fire department, water up, fire, I just tear it up. I had, let me tell you something, friends, I had my experience with stuff and people pushing me. I've had my nightmares. And there's been people that have fallen and gotten hurt. 
I, you can look at the Facebook Live. You find that a number of churches couldn't have a church. A number they could the, the people, especially in North Carolina, they got to hit it a lot harder than we got it. And they were not able to have church. And tonight we're able to have a church. We're able to have a church. Listen to Pastor Trevor. Love listening to him. North Valley Baptist Church. I want to guide you all. As much as you watch a movie, as much as you watch something uh, uh, out in the world, that you would you would sometimes just see and, and hear what God is doing, and um, and you learn to praise God for that preacher, that, that man of God's been uh, he's been so many years getting up in age and and, 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 and how he was sharing uh, about churches today across the country that we're not able to have service. And how do we need to pray for them? I, I thank God there's people in this church tonight that you know the seriousness of the house of God. I, this is because of the weather, due to the weather, mm -hmm. God bless a number of you. I know your heart. You wanted to be here. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. It's a sight that I'll never forget. All the days of my life, I don't believe. I don't believe I'll ever forget it. As we gathered this morning when that snow started coming down early in the morning, I'll never forget your servant spirit. I'll never forget you wanting to bless these kids and bless these adults and out of the house of God. And you were willing to go, you were willing to go, you were willing to do this, you were willing to do that. And I'll never forget, I'll never forget all the days of my life, your humble spirit. And knowing it just broke my heart to say. And I hate even thinking about it. I'm going to have to bring them, get them home. Get them home. Because I was thinking about their safety. And I don't want them to get hurt. And how you, you got them home. But then you know my heart. You know, I was so concerned about you, and I love you. And I say, you get home, and you call me when you get home safe. Y'all going home. I want to make sure everything's okay. But I'll never forget the sight. Precious ones. Wanting to get people to the house of God. Wanting to pick up people in your car, in your van. Oh, I love it. I love it. I, 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 it bothered me this morning. I know it bothers these preachers that they couldn't have church, but it bothered me. And the phone would ring from the rescue mission. The phone would ring from the rescue mission. And they wanted to come. The rescue mission people wanted to come. Sister Ruth, you're cooking, and Sister Barnett, you're cooking, and Brother Johnson and Sister Johnson, you have no idea that's the only good meal that these people will get all week long. Think, look at me. Think about that. Think about that when you wish you could stay home and play your games and have a day off. Think right, about right, that right. when you think oh, I can have a day where I can just watch football. Why don't you do that on your day of school? Why don't you do it your day of job if you're going to do it? But don't do it in the house of God. Don't do it. Don't desire it in the house of God. Amen. Amen. You want to take a day off work? Take it. You want to take a school day off? Talk to your parents. But don't desire ever to get out of the house of God. Amen. Right, right. Go to the house of God. On your vacation, go to the house of God on your vacation. Don't skip church on Sunday night. Don't skip church on Sunday morning. Don't skip church on Wednesday evening. Go on the vacation. You don't go in your stinking bathing suit. Look, live like a stinking devil, barnyard animal, and take and, 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 and be immodest. You don't do that. You don't do that. be a Christian wherever you go. And get to the house of God. Get to the house of God. And I am tired of it. It's happened more than you can imagine. People are taking their trips. Take your trip during your, when you're at work, when you go to school. But don't take your trip during the church. Amen. Amen. I never did that. And I don't plan ever doing it. Amen. 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 I know 
know this junk starts many times when they go to Bible college. And they start justifying skipping. Because they got to work. Everyone that works during the Lord's day I'll be praying right now, God, give you a better job. A better job. And don't get complacent. Thank God for the job you have, but be praying every day. And not only praying every day, put in applications. Center your life around the house of God. House of God. Look up here. You better thank God. Hey, I'll tell you something. You better hope. You, when you get on your own, you're faithful to the house of God. And you don't take a job on the Lord's day. You better think, you better hope you're next strong. So I'm going to offer you about $50,000. What will you do? Or $100,000. If you knew the broken homes, if you knew the divorces, look up here. All right. Look up here. If you knew the problem. Your life. The house of God is more important than your job. God gave you the job. Amen. Don't be complaining. Amen. Don't Amen. complain. Amen. God can fix that. Yeah. Don't complain. Don't murmur. Amen. Amen. Thank God for the house of God. Amen. Thank God you get you get to play the piano. You get to sing. You get this. You get to be in the choir. Choir member. Amen. You get to usher. I get to preach. Amen. You get to work on a bus route for God. The king. The king. He said, well, I work for Trump. I work for the king. Uh, 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 that, that's over Trump. Amen. Well, whoever's in the White House. Amen. Amen. There's no higher position than working for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Compel him. Go on the highways and hedges. Compel him. That my house may be filled. Yeah. Filled. We don't want to fill these pews. We want to pray. Want to bother us? Every empty pew want to bother us? Bother us! God wants them filled. Every empty seat on the bus want to bother us. Every empty seat on the van want to bother us. Every empty seat in the car want to bother us. God didn't give us these things just to give it to us. He wants us to fill it because he's a king. He's a great king. He has the blessings. He owns the universe. He wants to give peace. He wants to give joy. He wants to give forgiveness. He wants a fellowship. He wants a blessing. He wants a blessing with a wife. He wants a blessing with a husband. He wants a blessing with children. He wants a blessing with their lives. I'll tell you something. A thousand years from now, what is it going to matter? Where are you going to be? thousand years from now, where are you going to be at? Where are you going to be? Where am I going to be a thousand years from now? And that's nothing compared to forever. That's nothing compared to that forever. Nothing! Lay up treasures in heaven. Lay up treasures in heaven. Where no moth could corrupt. No thieves could come and steal. Okay? Lay up for yourselves. Okay? Your work's going to get rewarded. Okay, if you stay late, if you get here early, the rewards in this life and next. Look up here. If you get here early and you stay late, Don't, don't, don't dwell on the kids that are not doing it for, nothing for God. Right. But, 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 but you, you dwell on the children. Let's dwell on our children. Amen. They're faithful to the house of God. Amen. They're dating in a good Christian way. Amen. They're not a bunch of alcoholics and dope heads. They're not a bunch of shackers up living together, married. Not, and living together, not married. Come on. Amen. They're not all wearing leggings with no skirt. 
Muslims have better standards than some of these so-called Christians. All right. I said, I'm going to back it up. Not all of them are wearing their tights and panties without skirts, without dresses. I don't, I don't think you're hearing me. I, don't, I think you're getting used to it. I, I think you're getting immune to it. They're not all walking around the store with their pajamas on without their skirt. You're not getting it. You're not understanding it. We've got some that got modest dresses and they're not walking around like street walkers with mini skirts on showing the nakedness of their thigh. Some of you ain't getting it tonight. You need to get with it. You need to say amen. You need to say hallelujah. They've been blessed by the house of God. They know how to dress. They, they, they know how to respect God. They, somebody help me. They know how to respect their parents. They know how to respect their church. Boy, you ought to get with it tonight. You ought to be saying, oh me or oh my. So would you help me please? Amen. Amen. You're not getting it, son. Amen. Come on. There's a number of them that know how, they know what a barber is. They know what a barber shop is. Come on. Amen. They really know what it's like. On, they know it's a shame for a man to have long hair, and they're not picking that football player out Amen. with the long hair. And I looked at those guys. I said, "What is it with those braids, boy?" If you're a boy, tell the stadium, you're a boy. The hair is the glory of the woman. That's it supposed to be the glory of the man. We've been blessed. Amen. We've been blessed. We've been blessed. There, there was a day when preachers actually, it was normal, what you're hearing tonight. Mm -hmm. Now you got the Facebook Live. Mm -hmm. Now you got live stream. Oh, oh, oh be careful. Be careful. Be careful. I was a shot of mine, and all kind of things going on. And careful. Shh, be careful, sneak up on them. Sneak up on them. <laughs> yeah, look what's going on in our country. Look at the mess. I mean, just look at the mess. Don't bother you. And that's why I say we've been blessed out of the house of the Lord. And you, and, and you have been blessed. You've been mighty blessed. Brother Whitskin, 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 Brother W, Brother W, walked from Magnolia with his king in the snow and seat him on the porch. I thank God in the rain. I thank God that I was still hanging around the church this morning. God wanted to was outside in her car. In her car. I thank God that she was here. And I was able to take the word of God. And I say to you what I said to them, to, to, to those that were able to make it through the storm, the quick storm, the fast storm, that thing came down so fast. I don't think I ever, in all these years in Knoxville, Tennessee, it's going to be 34 years, isn't it? Next year in April, right? I don't think I ever seen rain turn to snow that fast. And the, and, the, and the roads become white and slippery so fast. And, and I said, to, the, I said to, to those, I said, turn to Romans 8.28. All things work together for good mm -hmm. to them that love God. I said, you know, sometimes we pray for things and God says no. Mm -hmm. And I have something better. My ways is not God's ways. God's ways is not my way. Mm -hmm. 
my way, if I had the world in my hand, and it's not Mother Nature, it's God, then my way would be let cancellation be in school or on the job. But Sunday, leave, leave, leave it alone. Let, let the storm not. And I said, all things work together for good to the middle of God, to them call according to his purpose. That God's working all of these things out. And I, I, I explained to them in Romans 8, trials and troubles and heartache. Nothing shall separate you from the love of God. Through all the hurt, through all the pain, through all, all that you go through. Nothing will separate us. God has a plan in this. God has a great plan in this. My plan. Not let the storm come. I don't want us to have to cancel church. I don't want us to ever have to cancel church. I know there's some preachers, you know, I'll tell you what, we will never, ever hit a, a yeah, 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 right, right, right. You, you, you just let the storm hit you in, in such a way. You, you, you say all you want to say. You say all you want to say. But I'm going to tell you what. There's a time when some things come in your life. That I'm telling you what, you can't do nothing about it. Just accept God's way. And God let it happen. And God, God has a plan. And there's no uh-ohs with God. No uh-ohs with God. With God. And I know one thing. I know one thing, friend. You say what you want to say. Those pastors were broken hearted. And those churches were broken hearted. At least I was able to have some type of service with just a few people. Some of those pastors. Nobody. No church. They couldn't even make it up to the house of God. They couldn't even make it there. And let me say this. They could have put their lives in jeopardy where a lot of people would have got hurt. A lot of people would have got killed. And what good is that when they can't come back next Sunday? What good is that they can't come back next Sunday? Right. What good is that? Let's not show too much love no. when a preacher gets up and talks that crazy stuff. No. It doesn't show too much love for your people. If you ever get up and say, well, we ain't having none cancer. It's there at least spirit. I don't care what blizzard come. What blizzard. Let snow pile up to the house. Let it pile up to the doors. <laughs> yeah. You better hope God you don't die. To... <laughs> you better hope to God. <laughs> Somebody say amen there, friend. Amen. Amen. About you. Look at me, kids. Think about you precious kids. Think about these precious little children. Responsibility we have in these children's hands. I wanted to be here. You wanted to be here. Car driver wanted to be here. Bus driver. What? Joy, I, I just hope every young lady, Lorraine, I hope every young man, that beautiful wedding we had in this house of God. Sister Barney, I'll never forget the decoration. I'll never forget the beauty of the... Brother Lorraine, I, I, I would, you know what? I wish we could have showed on the screen right now, but we, we, we ain't got time. We ain't got for time. Brother Laura, you see that old tuxedo with Brother Laura had uh, the, uh, that, that suit he had? You see how, the, how wonderful joy. I'll tell you, the, the queen and the king. I, I, mean, I mean, Laura was smiling. I, I, well, what a sight. Ain't that right? Ain't that right? But Brother Tim, what about that wedding? What about that wedding? And they're right. You, you, you're in it. Danny. Like a king. Hey, it's brother, brother, uh, uh, funny. Like a, like a queen. Man, look like somebody stepping out from heaven. Man, and look at the beauty of the of the wedding, and, and the beauty of the decoration. Oh, we've been blessed in the house. Oh, we've been blessed in the house of God. And then to see uh, two. People and they're married and love God, and love Jesus, and been blessed. Yes, sir. Yes, man. And, and learn to learn to love God and learn to tie, learn to get, learn to love the wife, learn to submit to husband, learn to learn to just love this Bible and, and to love the house of God and to see how God bless, how God provide. Not only have a, a vehicle, but to, 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 to have peace and joy. Not only have an apartment, not to fight and to kick each other. 
thank God, Brother Rod. Thank God, son in law. Well, don't want to strangle my wife, my, 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 my daughter. Thank God you don't want to strangle my son in law. It's the, thank God you got Jesus in you. Thank God you're not, it's not a boxing match ever. Yes. Thank God. Amen. Just, Amen. Thank, thank God you don't marry somebody, Lorraine, unless you want to be a boy, a man, want to be a wrestler. And get down and wrestle you. Thank God you got a man want to be a little queer, a little uh, late like he wanna get all here, dumb like a little girl and, and, uh, and thank God joy who got come on, he got no girl in him. All right, all right. Come Amen. on! Amen. Real man Amen. wants to provide, wants to take care of you, wants to love you, Amen. knows how to treat a woman. Amen. Amen. The blessing. Amen. Bless you, house of God, Brother Tim back there. Amen. We bless you, Brother Tim. Amen. You've been blessed, man. You're a blessed man. Blessed job. Blessed car. Handsome young man. Waiting on God. Not whoring around. Not fornicating. Not getting put every, every little hussy to get in the car. Little oh, hussy. Little oh, hussy. To, <laughs> thank God you're going to hussy. Somebody don't, don't want to go soul in it. Hussy. Somebody don't want to serve God. Hussy. 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 Hussy can't be faithful in church. Hussy. Thank God you ain't yoking up with some hussy. Uh, don't want to tie. Don't want to get some hussy. Got her leggings on. Got her tights. Got her pants. No skirt over the pants. No dress over the pants. Waiting on a holy one. Waiting on a godly one. Waiting on a modest one. Not somewhere out there with the shorts on. Showing the nakedness of the thigh. Waiting on God. Amen. Beautiful. Love Jesus. <laughs> Worth waiting for. Amen. Yeah, you've been blessed. You've been blessed. You little whores, look out for them. Bring a man down. Thank God you're waiting on God. Serving God. Waiting on God. It's worth it. Hang on in there. Anything worth waiting, if worth having, is worth waiting for. Amen. <laughs> We've been blessed. Hey, 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 can't touch us. Triple A can't touch us. Amen. Nothing's going to help you with spoken like the house of God. We want, we want to go to the health places and thank God. We want to exercise and thank God. But there's nothing that's going to help us more than the house of God where the word of God is helped to the flesh that will help you. I said there's nothing that's going to help you like to, to get you off alcohol, get you off dope. Hey, prostitute, ain't nothing going to help you like the house of God. Ain't nothing, pimp. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. Ain't somebody help me out. Ain't Amen. nothing going to clean up this mess better than the house of God. The house of God is not a museum for sex. It's a hospital for sinners where the preacher will preach long once in a while. And I, somebody help me out. Amen. 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 Monster. Stinking monster. I mean, the devil in the body took that 13-year-old girl while she was waiting on that bus. Took her. That's Mary so how old are you? 13? Uh, 13? Daisy, how old are you? 14. If this doesn't bother you, I don't know what. Their age. They showed them on the news. You didn't see them? Had a little, like the gangers, the gang leaders had a little tear tattoo. Rick took her while she's waiting on the Don't you stink and smirk. This is not funny. Grabbed her, raped her, tortured her. Killed her. You've been blessed on the house of God. Amen. Amen. God's angels watch over you. Amen. God's angels watch over you. You, you. You're working on a bus route. You, you're a young age in the house of God. You're here. I 
Oh, I wonder how many kids we prevented from getting stinking tortured and raped. We keep them in the house of God. God's protection over the, 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 the bus workers and soul leaders and, he, and those that live for him. Amen. Those that live for God. He, he said, we're, what, are you, what are you guys looking at? Man? We keep looking down, man. Look, 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 look. Get, get your minds off that stinking garbage. Whatever, whatever the stinking garbage the devil is. It ain't going to be funny when you stick and wreck your life. No. No, no. It's not going to be funny. No. You're going to have regrets. No. You serve God. There's a reason why I say the wicked movies and the wicked parties. We don't find you sticking tortured like some young people are tortured here in our city. No. Sodomized. church. A lot of young people go to church. Look at me. But there's some divine protection of those that serve God, that love God. Where you read Psalms 90, 91, there's divine protection of those that love Him. Those that serve Him. Now no, I'm not talking about martyrs. I'm not talking about that. There's reward for that. There's a reward for martyrs. There's a reward for those that, that, that die that way. I'm talking about those that get raped and killed and there's no reward and there's no good in it. But because of rebellion, because of sin, because of getting out of the house of God faithful and, and getting the benefit out of the house of God. What, look at me. Look at, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. What good is the benefit you be in the house of God and you don't listen? You end up getting pregnant as a teenager like the rest of them you don't listen? You boys get up and get somebody pregnant before you get married? Or, and by the way, sometimes you're not getting pregnant, but you lose your virginity. And that causes problems. We need to hit on that. We talk right. about having babies out of wedlock. What about those who are doing it and they're fornicating and they have any babies and murder babies and they're still abortion? That's right. That's right. Trying to make up for it from this morning. We missed so a little extra time, you owe me. Spoil brats. That's what you are, spoil brat. Spoil brat. Or spoil brats. That's what we are, brats. We wouldn't have it if it wasn't for God. We wouldn't have it. I tell you, I said it all the time. God takes a nobody. They think they're somebody. Then you think you're everybody till you lose it all. Just realize how blessed you've been in this house. And you, there'll be no problem tithing and giving. There'll be no problem giving money to help. And there'll be no problem sacrificing and serving. You ought, you ought, you ought to say, you guys... You get to sweep and mop and, and thank God for those things. And to God be the praise, you're able to do it. You're able to clean the auditorium, whatever. And we get to do these things to serve God. I get to drive a bus. What a privilege that is. How many pastors don't get that blessing? You get to drive a van. How many, how many people don't get that blessing? You're able to bring people in your car. You will teach Sunday school. You've been blessed. Everything you have, everything you are. And I just beg you to leave here realizing how blessed you are and how blessed I am. Okay? God's kept us alive. God keeps food on our table, clothes on our back. I think about you precious people. You have jobs. You have government jobs. God bless you. What would happen if the government shuts down during the break? What would happen in four months you don't get the income? Do, do, you, do you know how it will affect our church, your giving? Do you know the devil? Do you pray? Do you pray that God will bless his people in this house? That's their life. Do you know how it would affect 
our mortgage, our church. Do you ever think about it? How blessed you are to have? You, you, you didn't got jobs. I'm talking about you didn't really give. Think about the amount you give. You get a number of people that lose that. Can you, can you imagine what it will do? Every year around this time, they're talking about shutting down the government, shutting down the government, shutting down the government. And I'll tell you what, the way that stinking mess is going up there, right. we and I hope it don't. Right. Right. We better do some praying right. that God will bless these precious ones. Right. They, they, from, from this situation, they'll walk into a situation, they'll be able to make some money. Right. Yeah. Right. Joy got under attack, a situation with a job. God, God worked it out. God worked it out. The devil's behind that thing. That's right, that's right, that's right. God blessed her. That's right. Amen. 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 There should be no problem tithing. Hey, hey, you should love your tithing. Give extra. Give extra to the house of God. Amen. Amen. One day you won't be able to. That's it. You don't gripe. That's right. You don't complain. You don't have a job that's for God. spoiled bread.